Welcome back guys. I accidentally closed the other video. So this is a continuation the pet event roundup part two and I'll get straight back into it. So this one that we're at right now here is the Fae Dragon and oh dear you know I never actually spoke about the baby phoenix. So if you're not T10 yet and you can't get T10 you should definitely buy the baby phoenix that is the tier 8 phoenix and it does do dc too so you definitely need it if you are not able to get tier 10 so there is still hope plus actually you actually don't even need to buy it because next month is phoenix month so they'll be back next month so it's up to you if you really need dc right now for what you're doing or you can wait a few days the mimic so this is the tier 5 baby mimic and this is the tier 10 mightiest mimic if you're a collector you can buy the baby one it's very cheap if you're a lower lower tier you can buy it it might not be that useful but you can try it out as i said it's very cheap tier 10s if you're a swash if you do a lot of pvp mightiest mimic is a good one for that i think a lot of people use it for swash builds when they're doing territory raiding too. Territory taking is what I call territory raiding. But other than that, well, it does have Ultima too. I think Bayos use it for Ultima raiding sometimes. But I I would have to test that myself to know for sure. Because there are hardly any Bayos who play anymore anyway. And I doubt any would be trying to use the Mightiest Mimic as a pet. But overall their pets you can pretty much miss and not worry about it too much but as i said if you do like the swash gameplay you should probably pick up the tier 10 version because it has mimics mischief and that is a really good spell for you guys we have the, the twins the pollux and caster i believe and pollux is an interesting one it has arrow storm to dispel freeze scout weakness and a few other things so it has an aoe2 like the fey dragon does i didn't mention that earlier i did another video right before this one but that one got messed up too so i did mention that so i'm just going to mention that the fey dragon the tier 7 fey dragon has a lot of aoe spells and they're actually very interesting and they cost gold well the dragon costs gold so it's not the worst pet to try out pick it up try it out and see it might not be useful but it only costs gold so this is another one i wouldn't spend two million orns on this in this economy but it can be interesting it can't be interesting for me, but you will have to look at the the spells, the skills, abilities, yeah, and determine if it's something that you can use. And Caster is the other pet. This one you can pick up because it's only gold. You have to look at the skills. It has Prism Wall, which is really good, very nice. It has Ward of Steel, also very nice. I would definitely pick this one up. So the next pet is our boy Gwilgi. And that pet is one of those that is really nice early game. But then obviously you're going to outgrow it. But as I keep saying, the good part about this is you only spend gold. So this one is a must pick up too for me. It is a must pick up. It is a must pick up like this one for duo raiding too. If you're very low level, it gives you a piece too and it does onslaught too. So it it, it, it has a really good skill set. The baby bail or worm here. Tier 6 pet. It too does onslaught. It does sleep. It does protection too. This one is a must pick up too. You don't know what you might want it for, but hey, it's better to have it than and not need it than to need it and not have it. Oh my God, Carmen. Is this Carmen the witch? Yeah, so Carmen is a really nice one, especially if you're a codexer. 
she does every fucking thing man she does so much she, the only thing left for her to do is probably toxic she does so much so if you're one of those persons who likes the codex you can definitely find some use out of her and she costs gold so you know it is a safe purchase next up we have the fey gazer and just gonna showcase his skills i don't find him useful for anything in particular but he does have a few skills and he does have some debuffs so he isn't the worst he isn't the worst for sure next we have the naganines and i'm heat lightning is one of the the interesting ones like these are all omni spells so they'll have a higher penetration and they'll do multiple status effects but i don't know where you would want these in particular but I don't know. I, I I I own the pet because, as I keep saying, I am not that fast when it comes to pets. Okay, and maybe a hoarder too. So it's up to you. I can't think of anything that I would want this pet for. It's baby brother version. Just because it costs gold, I would take it. So that is that. Fey Chimera Berserk 1 buff but can also be gotten from the normal Chimera just at a slightly lower rate. It does offer some more damage if you are a Bayo and you're doing raiding with it or stuff like that. Has I think two different skills and can crit. So it is up to you to decide if you want to use that one or you want to use the one that is always available i would pick it up just because but that's just me i pick up every pet it seems so henry gone or hengrion so remember when i was telling you guys about the better pets with onslaught this is the one i was talking about this one has this pell this one has onslaught this one even has miracle this one even has miracle it's so good. This one is so good. And it is cheap. It is an orn pit, yes. But it is very cheap for what it does. It is so compact, so good, so precise. It doesn't have three trillion fucking skills trying to decide what to do all the time. It is simple. It keeps it simple. Donkey kicks. Donkey dispels. So let's let's get this one if you guys don't have it especially if you're earlier game as usual later game you're not gonna have much use for it but donkey kicks so we have next the alpha pet and this is another one that i really like i have the tier 4 pet it has dispel and ward of iron at tier 4 for gold that is ridiculous so I definitely do pick this one up every time on every account. And this one is okay. This one is okay. The, he does have AOE though. But pets, depending on pets for AOE, hmm, it's rough. It's rough. It's rough for sure. So it does cost gold though. And you know what I keep saying about gold pets? Just buy them. Just buy them. The horses are just uh, a mixture of Henry Gunn, like just doing similar stuff like with the spells and strikes and stuff like that. Like the black one does some dark spells, the white one does some holy spells, nothing to get into. The ghost does sleep, fright and nightmare and nightmare does a little bit of damage and causes sleep sleep causes sleep at a higher rate and fright is a multiple of debuffs so this one is a must get too it is only gold very awesome pet oh there 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 oh there uh okay i think we went over nagonin too the flame too 
Uh, this baby pumpkin head, uh, I can't think of any reason why you'd want it. It is interesting in PvP matchups and it does do the skill wallop that the very scary skeletons do. So, and it does do these other spells too, you know, but I wouldn't, I don't know. Maybe it could be an interesting raiding pet just because it does some interesting spells and it has a high protect chance so i'll definitely have to try it out because i do have it but for now it is very cheap too so you could pick it up technically but don't overextend your own resources your own reserves yeah for this pet amadan amadan is another aoe pet that does the best debuff in the game stasis but does he do it reliably i do not know i think i have that pet i'm not sure i'm going to get all of the pets this round so i will have a lot more information on pets in general it is a tier 8 pet yeah and honestly it doesn't have the worst it doesn't have the worst abilities it just has two abilities and the ability to attack and it hardly attacks hardly buffs and the spell chance is pretty decent i actually might try it out at some point on on a magic build beowulf perhaps but uh, it's very cheap too guys so if you can afford it you can buy it but it is not a must buy but i think it could be interesting so if you guys do want me to do some videos testing some of these pets be sure to say it because i would be interested in doing that if people will actually watch it so yeah we come now to the codex dragons and i'm not gonna get too much into these because you should have you would have perhaps codec um, codexed them before if you wanted them or if you are around and if you didn't codex them you won't be able to see them in the bestiaries they are interesting they all do a little damage they have some spells called blights that they can apply to opponents and if you're doing a skill or a spell of the element an opponent is blighted with there will be some type of weakness i believe it is 30 to 40 percent it is definitely not 50 percent because i've done a bit of testing with it and it wasn't a clear 50 percent i think it was 30 but do not quote me yeah they are interesting and they're mainly looked towards for their ability to inflict these blights to help us do more damage though the purple one here does do a bit of ward warding and ward recovery so overall you would have to look through their skills and see what you want if you have codex them but the overall consensus is if i were to buy any of them i would buy the purple one i would buy emir the the rainbow one and i would buy kathopo the green one but honestly i would just buy all of them because i'm collecting pets now Overall, you might only need just the purple one, or maybe you buy Emir, the rainbow one, but I don't think you're going to... Honestly, you could, you know, yeah, you could actually use these pets because even deity raiding, they, they do well with deity raiding, so I would just buy them all and try them, guys, honestly, because I have not tried them enough to say, okay, this one does this blight more or this one does this skill more so i just know that they're solid pets i have tried them a little bit and i've seen them be solid so yeah next up we have the pets of the the arisen judges and the baby fallen judges and no i'm not i'm not remembering correctly if this was a codexable pet but in the odd chance it wasn't and it is available uh i'm gonna run through them so they are definitely interesting pets 
for sure this one does a bit of damage even has a debuff this one does a little damage too gives you ward and will help to sustain your ward turns a little bit so it's up to you guys if you want to pay for these pets i i did buy this one honestly i didn't remember to buy this one so it is up to you and the two final pets we have there are ornro and the scarecrow and Onryo is really interesting. I really like her skills. She has Wail that <laughs> causes confusion. Defense down and resistance down. Tempest was, which gives Windswept. Which means that the opponent will not be able to crit, uh, achieve critical strikes as effectively. Yes. Summon dead, which as you guys know, it's that spell that summons the weak dead mob and Nightmare 2, which causes a sleep. It is definitely an interesting one. And finally, the wee baby scarecrow. And this one seems to be a buffer because these are a lot of buffing spells. So, and also debuffing. Okay, I didn't know the songs did debuffs too interesting so as you guys can see this one specializes in buffing and debuffing and costs gold so i definitely picked this one up and yeah that is the end guys i hope that was satisfactory i hope i at least pointed you in the right direction of the pits that you should pick up Finally, I'd like to say thank you so much to my patreons you have yeti bound you have Makana, you have Orban and Bear, you have Eren, you have my boy Abyss now, you have Potion Poppin, you have my boy Knee Rule. I appreciate you all. I, mean, I don't think I'm missing anyone except my private patrons who prefer not to be named. So I appreciate you guys so much as usual. Thank you very much. Thank you guys to everyone else, my subscribers, everyone who likes my videos, everyone who watches and take care of yourselves guys. Yeah. <laughs>